It is Wednesday, day three of the Booktubeathon. I'm very frustrated because somebody just ran a yield sign when it was very much my right of way. And I don't like people and I don't like driving. It is a little before two right now. I haven't done any reading whatsoever today. I went at 10 to get my hair done, so it's now very purple again. And that took a couple hours, and now I'm heading to the local farmer's market to go hang out with my family for a bit and to get some food. And then I'll probably head home and um, read some, I don't know what I'm gonna read next, probably the second book to Withering Tights, A Midsummer Tights Dream can probably be next. That'll only take me a couple hours. Um, yeah, but I'm trying to get quite a bit of reading done today. I know I probably won't get any done tomorrow. We're going to Denali National Park for the day. Um, I might try to read a little bit on the way there and back driving. I don't know how well that'll go. Sometimes I get nauseous while reading the car and other times I don't. So maybe I'll try to take some Dramamine, Dramamine, whatever that stuff is called and see if that works. That's pretty much it for this update. Sorry I haven't done any reading yet. Future Ashley here because I accidentally deleted a clip that was supposed to go here on Wednesday, day three at the Booktubeathon. Um, it was pretty much just me being really frustrated with the life because Wednesday was a super bad day for me, but I did the book tower challenge for the day to, you know, make a tower out of books and I didn't have time until the very last minute, but I thought I'd have enough time to get it up and uploaded to enter into the competition but my computer hates me and it was being really, really slow and overheating. So I didn't get to upload it in time and I was just very upset with life. Um, but I'll probably still insert the clip of me building it somewhere in this video, probably at the end, because I'm really proud of it, my book tower. And it took me forever to do and I destroyed my bookshelf, my bookshelves for this tower. So somebody's got to see it. But yeah, I'm doing better now because it's Friday and it's been two days. But let me tell you, Wednesday was a horrible day, which is why in the next clip, I'm going to Barnes and Noble and buying myself books. But anyways, here's a little sneak peek of my tower over there. Don't mind my messy room. You see it over there? You see it? Isn't it beautiful? It's almost the same height as me. Yeah, that's it. We'll go back to past Ashley now. All right, it's like 15 minutes later, an attempt to put me in good mood. I am going to Barnes and Noble with my roommate to look at books and eat some food. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna buy any books, but I'm gonna look at them and they're gonna be pretty and hopefully I'll feel better then. Back from Barnes and Noble, I got some food, I got a sandwich and a cookie, and I bought a book, Alice by Christina Henry. Three guesses what this book is about. Um, it's some adult fantasy, obviously, retelling of Alice in Wonderland. It's a blurb by Brom, who wrote The Child Thief and several other books that I love. He's one of my favorite authors, so I'm thinking this will be good. It only has, I think, less than 100 ratings or views on Goodreads, uh, but it's got a high rating on Goodreads, but we'll see. Hey guys, it's Thursday, day four of the Booktubeathon. Uh, it is already eight o'clock at night. I just got back into town from Denali. We left this morning at nine o'clock. So I got up at eight and we've been out all day long. I'm really, really tired, but I took like a two hour nap on the way back. So I'll probably be up really, really late tonight. Um, update on yesterday. I only ever read those nine pages that I read of Searching for Dragons. I just didn't feel like reading yesterday. Today I am now on page 150 of Searching for Dragons. So I've read 141 pages. I'm totally planning on finishing this. This won't take me very long at all. Um, so I'll probably finish this within the next hour or so. And then I'm probably going to move on to um, A Midsummer's Tight Stream, which is the second book in the Tallulah series, a spinoff from the George Nicholson series. So yeah, I will talk to you guys a bit later. We are back in the car and it is now Friday, day five of the readathon. For some reason earlier in the week, I was thinking this was the last day, but obviously it goes to Sunday, so I don't know what I was thinking. You know how yesterday, last night, I said I was going to finish Searching for Dragons for sure? Well, that didn't happen. I caught up on YouTube videos on a bunch of booktubeathon videos, and then I just watched a bunch of BuzzFeed videos until I went to bed. It's just past noon and I haven't been awake for very long because I decided to sleep in because I've gotten up early for me the past couple of days and I really just wanted to sleep in. Um, I haven't read it all today. I went and got some breakfast slash lunch at Ruger's and some coffee and now I just came back from the library because I had some books on hold. I had three books on hold and somehow ended up with five books because I can never go to the library and come out with the number of books I meant to get. I always come out with way more. So the plan for the rest of the day is my mom's gonna pick me up in about an hour and we're gonna go do some more 
touristy stuff with my family that's in town. Um, I might be able to read for a little bit during that. It's only a couple hours, the thing we're doing. Um, then we're having dinner tonight and I think we're going out to eat somewhere. And I don't know what time we're going out to eat or how long we're gonna be. So I don't know how much reading I'm gonna get done today. I should be able to finish searching for dragons at some point today because it's middle grade, it's really easy and quick to read. Um, I'll probably just carry around the second Tallulah Cassie uh, tights book with me too because I should hopefully get to that some point today. And then the only book I'll have left is The Night Circus, which is really exciting, although that one I think is gonna take me a while. And I know tomorrow, me and Lizbeth and my roommate, I'm gonna stay here, um, I'm talking to the light. Me and my roommate and Lizbeth are gonna watch Game of Thrones because we've only seen the first like three or four episodes of the season and her, Brittany's dad, my roommate, has all of it recorded. So we're gonna finally finish Game of Thrones. I do know somebody who died, and let me tell you, I don't care one little bit, um, at least I think they died. And I don't care because I didn't like that character. Um, and then Lizbeth's birthday was last weekend, so we're gonna go out to eat for Mexican and margaritas. And I'm so excited because I love margaritas. Um, but yeah, so I don't know how much reading I'll get done tomorrow either. So I'm probably gonna be reading all of Sunday, The Night Circus, and hopefully I'll get it done. Maybe I'll try to sneak in one more book, probably another Enchanted Forest Chronicles because they're really easy to read, and then I could actually read seven books. And I think that's it for now. Hopefully I'll be able to update later today and actually tell you that I've read something because I haven't been reading lately. And that's the point of these vlogs, is my reading. I've gotta be really quick because my battery's dying, but it's now 6.43 in the evening. I got home a while ago from the touristy things, but I didn't update you guys. But while I was doing the touristy things, I did manage to finish searching for dragons and start a Midsummer Tight Stream. I'm now on page like 34 of this. I've only got 200 pages to go. I should maybe finish this tonight if I read any tonight. I don't want to say I will because then I won't, but this shouldn't take long once I sit down and read it. But I'm excited because then all I have to do is the Night Circus, which will maybe get finished. Anyways, that's it for this update. I'll see you a little bit later. Hello, long time no see. I mean, for you guys, it's only been a second, but for me, it's been a while. It's now 3.50 on Sunday, the last day of the Booktubeathon. I have not read a single thing since I last updated you guys on Friday. I didn't read Friday night. I didn't read Saturday. I haven't read it all today. So yeah, there's no way I'm going to be completing all the challenges or reading seven books unless I change my TBR up. So. There's no way I'm going to read The Night Circus, it's just not happening, but I am going to try to finish a Midsummer type stream and then hopefully get to Calling on Dragons finish this, which will get me to six books, which is still pretty good. So I'm going to go do that now. It's now 8 p.m. and I kind of just woke up from a nap. I was really, really tired and decided that I would take a nap, even though it's already kind of later at night. I mean, it's not really late, but you know, I just, I was tired. I wasn't going to be able to read. But I did finish this book finally, and I'm like 30 pages into this one. I should be able to finish this tonight. My roommate is working until 2 a.m. tonight, so I won't be going to bed anytime early. And although the Booktubeathon technically ends at midnight your time, I figure I didn't start the Booktubeathon exactly at midnight when it started, so if I go past midnight, it's not like I'm reading more hours. I'm just kind of making up on lost time. Yeah. Hey guys, it's now Monday night, but I'm just gonna really quickly go over how last night went for me, the last night at the Booktubeathon. I finished Calling for Dragons and I finished this at like 12, 11. So this was my sixth book and I guess I'll kind of count it for the Read Somebody's Favorite because I know quite a few people really enjoy the series. And I also finished later that night, past midnight technically, but I'm just gonna count it. I finished The Door in the Hedge by Roman McKinley. This is a thing of short stories, four short stories. And I only have the last one left but I still finished it. And so I'm gonna say this was my seventh book. So yay me, I completed all the challenges. Sometime later this week, I should have my August weekly wrap up number one. And I'm also just gonna make that my book Tubeathon wrap up since most of the books I read for the first week of August were pretty much entirely book Tubeathon books. So I'll see you guys next time. Let me know how you did with the book Tubeathon, if you met your goals, if you did some of the challenges and how those went, and I'll see you in a little bit later. Bye.
I was attempting to make Rapunzel's Tower from Tangled. I put a little light in here to symbolize lanterns because I could. This thing is almost as tall as me. Almost. Not quite. 